Hello, my friends. Welcome to another chapter of Narcissists Who Give a Fuck. My name is Dan Berkey. And I'm on the road to recovery from a lifelong journey of uh, shameless narcissism. The way I describe that touches on what I want to talk about today which will be a very brief video. I think for myself the road to redemption has to come from within how I feel about myself really feel about myself. That can get missed. The whole idea of how do you feel can be a strange question to a person who has either discounted feelings entirely or not even had them. As I've had an awakening I believe. Those feelings have, uh, have started to come, big and small. And sometimes those feelings are very self-deprecating. Well, a feeling is a feeling. You have to put it into an intention, which becomes self-deprecating, turned against myself, which is something that I don't want to do. Like, I don't want to burn myself at the stake. Yet, I want to take responsibility for having been cruel to quite a few people, shamelessly deceitful, an out and out pathological liar. The list can go on and on and on, and you can paint yourself as the, uh, the demon on the hill. <laughs> um, that's not my intention. I think we all have the capability of going to the dark side, to uh, coin a common phrase, a popular phrase. But we can also go on the light side. I think we balance them out, or we try to. At this particular time in my life, I want to be able to look at myself and look at what I did in a critical, objective eye. Realizing what I did to certain people was flat out wrong. And I hurt a lot of people. To take responsibility for that, and I said in, the, in a previous chapter, the importance of making amends, reaching out to apologize sincerely, when you're ready to sincerely apologize. That might not, that might not happen for a while. You may have to wait a while. The point is, I think, for this, the point that I'm trying to make is to be able to forgive yourself, really, and take this all apart for yourself. I'm talking in the second person. For me. To take it apart for me. And to let go of those things that I employed to manipulate people to use them, or just to be flat out mean for the sake of being mean. I did that. It's not good, but it can be turned around. And it's not easy. Uh, sometimes taking on the responsibility of having done all those things, it can really turn your attitude black toward yourself. And uh, so I have to be gentle with myself and go slow. Because it's not my idea, not a practical idea of constructiveness to burn myself at the stake. That's not a constructive way of going about it. That's not positive. To go forward, to take responsibility and find that redemption from within. And that will map to what you do without. Your feelings and your intentions have to match actions. Um, 
Anyway, I hope that makes some sense. It's a hard journey, but I think it's, it's worthwhile. And even though it is hard at times, and it can get very emotional at times, I can honestly say that I feel good about what I'm doing. And I feel better about myself. It's kind of hard to contact somebody and tell them flat out, you know what you thought you knew about me? Well, that's a, that's a complete fabrication. That's a lie. I did that to make myself seem more than I am. Which is at the root of the whole thing. Because I never felt like I was good enough. I had to put something over. I had to put a facade on what was really who I was, which I thought was a piece of crap. Turn that self-loathing around is to look at it, expel it, and accept the fact that I am a human being and that I have choice and that I could do something positive, really positive without expecting anything in return. And when I do that, and I have been doing that consciously, it feels good, not in a way of patting myself on the back and boy oh boy Dan you're really doing hot shit there yeah no that's not the attitude it just feels good to be nice and then people want to talk stop and talk in the store for a few minutes I'm not used to that and it's kind of scary but it feels really good that's really all I have to say for today. Having kind of a lazy day here in the Bronx. It's a rainy, chilly day. But it's still a good day. Cheers, brothers and sisters.